Hi, I will now show you how custom tools can help you to manage configuration specific drawings in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started by creating a new part from template. First I want to populate some custom properties in order to uh, define a file name for the new part and also in order to populate the drawing title block. So let's click custom properties and here I want to now save my properties as document properties. Custom tools automatically offers me to save this new part to my active project and based on that project custom tools has generated me a new serial number which is a next available number from predefined sequence. Now I only need to add description and here we can see that custom tools automatically populates two new custom properties called file name which is combination of serial number and description and also drawing name which is only the serial number. Since in this case I select not to create configuration specific drawing. Similarly custom tools has filled designer information based on currently logged in user and design date based on current date. When I click OK, custom tools will save this part to the predefined location. Next we will create a drawing for this new part. So let's select the default template and desired seed format. I will insert standard tree view and when we click save, custom tools will save this drawing to the predefined location with predefined file name and if we use custom explore to see where the part is stored, we can see that the folder is different from the one where the part is saved and also file name only has the serial number for the drawings. So now let's say that I need uh, two different length of this tube 200 millimeters and 400 millimeters. So in order to obtain that I need to modify my length dimension. So let's pick the length and configure dimension. I create a new configuration called L200 and set the correct length. Similarly, I will create L400 with 400 millimeters. Now I have two new configurations in my part. When we go to custom properties, I select to have configuration specific drawings. Now custom tools automatically populated configuration name for the from the active configuration and also post fixed drawing name by configuration name. But since I already have a drawing for the default configuration, I now want to save my properties to two new configurations. So instead of having this selection as document properties, I will select specific configurations. And although I now have default here, it's actually linked to the configuration name, so I don't need to worry about that. So it's, it will be updated automatically to real configuration name when the value is saved to specific configuration. I click OK and select two new configurations. Now I can activate one of the new configurations and create a new drawing using the same template than for the default configuration. Now when I insert 
standard tree view, I can see that the reference configuration is L200. I click OK, hit the save, and custom tools will automatically save the drawing to the predefined location using the correct name defined in custom properties. Similarly, I will create a drawing for L400 configuration. Now we can see that the reference configuration is L400. And when we click the save, in order to save the drawing, custom tools generates the file name correctly based on the custom properties we previously filled. Now you may wonder how we can locate the drawings created from this particular part. For that purpose we can use custom open drawing which lists me all the drawings created from this part. So here I can see the drawing file name and here the reference model configuration. If I select a row in the list I can see the preview of the selected drawing. If I want to, for instance, open this drawing created from configuration L400, I will select that row and click OK. And the correct drawing will be opened. Now let's say that I need to modify the tube with length 200 millimeters. I need similar tube in my new design which the only def difference will be that I need a hole in the top face. So I can use this existing part as a template for my new part. And since I only need this uh, 200 millimeter configuration I will strip of all other configurations from my new part. So let's start by creating that hole to my new part. Let's cut extrude up to next and click OK. So now I have the hole. And in order to create a new part, I go to custom properties. This time I will select this configuration only, which is L200, and to new part I want to only include this active configuration. So I will select include only active reference configuration. I will click the button to generate a new serial number for my new part, and also I will modify the description. So now custom tools updated the file name. I click OK and custom tools recognize that the file name used to name the parts has been changed. So it offers me what I want to do. In order to play save, I select to save as copy in order not to accidentally update any references to possible open SOLIDWORKS documents which refers to this part. Now custom tools noticed that there is three drawings made from this part and what I want to do for those drawings. In this case I want to copy only this drawing which is referenced by the configuration I'm just modifying. So here we can see the current drawing name and here is the updated drawing name based on the properties. I click OK and now custom tools offers me to open newly created part. I will click yes and we can see that in the new part I have only that one configuration and if we open the drawing there is only one drawing made from that part. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for your time.